Here we sit right in the middle of the season, Brent, halfway through a long schedule. It's got to be a grind for these players. Oh, yeah, these are the dog days, Kevin, and the thing that you want to do is make sure that you're continuing to come with that mentality that you want to improve. And there may be days where physically it's tougher. There might be days where mentally it's tougher. But those kind of players all collectively put together are going to end up achieving something in any given season. And checking out Utah's opening lineup. They've got Markinen. Clarkson is out there with Chris Dunn. Then it's Olenek. Dunn up top. Guarded by Holiday. Clarkson against MP. Just five to shoot. A putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. To the paint. There's Portis. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Some toughness that Portis brings to the court. He's willing to finish through contact. Now, let's send it over to the decorated David Aldridge, who was able to talk with Will Hardy. Thanks, Kevin. I expect this to be an inside-out kind of game. This team has a lot of shooters who can really get going once they hit a few. We'll see if they can get on a roll from out there. Kevin? All right, thank you, David. What about Drew Holiday? Unselfish, team-first player. Love that from the guard position. Dunn passes to Markinen. Now Dunn, taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Larson outside. A three-pointer off the mark. On the wing, MP. No good from outside. The Jazz have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Hey, Brent, you look at the Bucks' recent success. Great coaching has got to be a big part of it. Yeah, and if you ask Coach Bud, a great Giannis Antetokounmpo is something that's a big part of it, too. So expected to win. This team is hungry to get back and compete at the highest level. The coach gets overlooked at times, but Coach Bud has done a great job with this Milwaukee Bucks team. That one, no good. So Utah will take it the other way. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. Yeah, in that game, the offense was firing on all cylinders, partly because the other team's defense was a no-show. Yeah, with the defense struggling like that, I think they just stayed with a healthy, consistent pace to get that win. Off the left rim and out. And so far, the team just one of five, and that rim shrinking. And to Takumbo. A double clutch. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Well, not only being just an all-around more improved player, Giannis has taken some huge strides in terms of building his body up. Free throw no good for Giannis. You know, Brent, hard to believe that back in 2017, Giannis was winning most improved player. Well, it's been unbelievable growth, and it seems so long ago that Giannis came into this league, but we've been inundated with Atentacumbo highlights in the biggest moment that the league has to offer. Winning an MVP in the league, a finals MVP, and there's no question that Giannis has grown into one of the best that has ever played for the Milwaukee Bucks. Maybe one of the best ever. Now, here's MP. He picked up 36 points in the last one against Memphis. The defensive mindset tonight is huge. He was a real pest coming up with all those steals had great activity. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jazz. And Brent, how about what Chris Middleton has brought to this team? Well, no question, a huge piece to that championship puzzle for Milwaukee. One of the best years that he has ever put together, which says something based on the numbers that he has put up throughout his illustrious career. And such a memorable season for this entire group. And Chris Middleton stood out in some of the biggest moments. Here's Dunn, following the basket by Chris Middleton. You know, Julie, something you notice about this Jazz, first personal, they love to shoot the three. Statistics tell you that, and they tell you that. And Kevin, not only do they love it, they do it well. The two, sadly, don't always go hand in hand, but these guys can really hurt you from range when they get going. Now, here's MP. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. 
down low. There's Portis. Oh, that's blocked. And they'll keep possession. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. Parking in from outside. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the miss. Antetokounmpo's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Well, that Greek freak nickname is, is apropos. I mean, he can handle it. He can pass it. The combination of size and athleticism. What a talent. Done outside. Fires from deep. And Clarkson gets Jordan it to go Clarkson. on the assist from Dunn. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's MP. Back to Holiday. Down his high post. And it's blocked. Inside. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And you know there are no many teams with a more dedicated fan base than Utah. The Jazz fans are behind their team no matter what. Wow. What, he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. It's hauled in by Dunn. Jazz trail by three. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's always fucking great to see the bond between the Jazz team and their followers. Well, when you're the only team in town, take the team to heart. And we see it in cities like Portland and San Antonio as well. The fans form that attachment to their team. Lopez is checked in for Bobby Portis. And that one drops. They are just killing him on the interior. Utah's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Clarkson right side. The Jazz again can't hit it. And another miss. Ooh, he's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Yeah, you could throw that pass just about anywhere, even the top of the square for Giannis to go and get. And here's Don. He'll bring it up for Utah. Trailing by five. Passes it to Markinen. Back to Clarkson. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Some changes here for the Bucks. Crowder, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Joe Ingles comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Carter in for Drew Holiday. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. Something that stands out about the Bucks is their versatility. Jazz trail by nine. So on the floor for Utah, we've got Kelly Olenek. Arkinen is out there with Rudy Gay. Then it's Chris Dunn. And it's Clarkson in at the two. And Brent, what would you say is the secret to the Bucks' deep offensive arsenal? Well, it's a variety of talents that they have on the floor. It's just a combination of guys who want to move the ball, want to move their bodies, and then get the ball to Giannis and he get out of the way. When, when you're trying to claw your way back into a game, you cannot allow second chance opportunities. Yeah, those are tough. You get back into the game by working harder than the other team, not the other way around. They're just going to extend this lead. Now, here's Clarkson. Off target from three-point range. MP outside. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Portis. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Portis has got the lead up to 13 now for Milwaukee. Utah's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Alder. David? Well, MP in the last matchup against the Grizzlies was terrific. He scored 36 points, and his active hands were on display again with a lot of steals. It was really spectacular watching him take over a game like that. He proved once again that he is an elite talent. Kevin? 
Yeah, David, he was in attack mode all night long. GA really propelled them to that win. When he's on, he is on. And there isn't all that much you can do to stop him. And sometimes you can just look at a guy and you see the confidence that he's playing with. That's what I like best. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. I like how they've worked the ball inside, getting looks closer in there, and that really helps your offense. Yeah, I wonder if pace and playing fast is something that they're being encouraged to do, because right now they feel like the faster team. Now here's Olenek. Here's Gay, and then Gay with the dunk. And Olenek doing a nice job just keeping the symmetry out there. Bucks leading by 12. On the wing, MV. And again, the Bucks miss. And a struggle for him tonight, but if they can make this lead hold up. He can just chalk this up as one of those nights. And Brent is an NBA player. There's tremendous competition. But also shared respect. And some say a brother. Line for the jab. How does that all balance out? I think, Kevin, there's a clear line of delineation of what you're talking about once playoff time hits the NBA. I mean, during the regular season, you see a lot of guys spending some time with one another. But... Come playoff time, I'd be hard-pressed to find that kind of interaction because guys know what's on the line, they know what's at stake, and competition always reigns supreme. Utah calls timeout. And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Now, here's Dunn. Clarkson looking for an opening over MP. Another miss by Utah. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. An easy two points on the layup. And it's seven points for MP. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Arkanen kicks to Clarkson. Olenek against Giannis. Fires for three. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks lead is cut down now to just 11 on the basket from Clarkson. Holiday up top. Done covering. MP against Clarkson. Portis, the pass to MP. To the middle. Olenek with the steal. Middleton against Markinen. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Gay. Six on the shot clock. And the Jazz, another three. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Well, Rudy Gay was born in Brooklyn. Over 100 NBA players held from that ball of New York City, making it a hotbed for Hoops Town. This shot's just, it's not there right now. With this team leading, perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. To the inside, stolen by Markinen. Here's Clarkson. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. A lot of talent indeed. And Rudy Gay is just one of many stars hailing from Brooklyn. And future Hall of Famer Carmelo Anthony was born there. And just like Rudy, was in Maryland for high school. Kemba, Bernard King, Lenny Wilkins, other legends from the Brooklyn Bowl. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Along for the Jazz. Rudy Gay. Free throw, no good. And the thing about Rudy Gay, you never know when he's going to have a night where he just explodes. He's one of those guys that can just score in bunches. Inside, here's Middleton. Powered down yes. after the assist. Let him into the lane. Total letdown by the D. Can't leave the bucket unprotected. Absolutely. And it attacks an easy two points onto the lead will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. Utah calls timeout. 
In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. And we've seen it for years. Despite their regular season success, the Jazz just unable to make much noise in the playoffs. Credit the front office for coming to terms with it and pivoting to a rebuild while they could get top value for their stars. Now, here's MP. He has seven. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. For Milwaukee, they have missed more than they've made in the foul line tonight. Three of seven. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Horton Tucker's checked in for Chris Dunn. It's tipped. Clarkson it on the wing. Covered by MP. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Clarkson. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Here's MP and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul. This is his third trip to the free throw line. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. A different look for Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Portis. Jay Crowder comes in for Antetokounmpo. And it's Joe Ingles in for Chris Middleton. The Jazz working the ball around now. Here's Horton Tucker. 11 points last game. Well, he wants that one over again. I guarantee that. Nobody's even in the neighborhood. Oh, the officials are all over that one. Okay. The Bucks have gone 7 of 11 from the line. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. Imano Ginobili recently inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame, and you won a couple rings with that guy. Give us some memories you can share about the great Ginobili. Oh, man. Uh, Manu is absolutely one of my favorite teammates of all time, Kevin, and one of the most delightful people that you ever could be around. I just think about the practices and the plane rides and him just joking around, and, and then something happens. He gets on the floor. He gets into the fourth quarter. It's time to win, and it's basically Manu Ginobili time. So I'm thrilled that he's been the Hall of Fame, and he deserves every bit of it. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. For Milwaukee, they have gone 9 of 13 from the line. And both free throws good for MP. And he's given them a good contribution at the line tonight. Getting there a lot and delivering on his opportunities. Phone Tecchio. Ingles covering. Goes up on the wing. No good that time. The Bucks go the other way with it. This is their first chance to take a look at the Jazz this season. It's not often we get to see this matchup, but it is a doozy when we do. Just two powerhouse teams facing off. Well, if I had a calendar, I would have circled this one. But I love it when they get together. Last year, they split the two games between them, and I'll bet their battles are just as tightly contested this year. They'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. Here's Horton Tucker. Five points in the game. Here's Obashi. Misses the three. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Here's MP. That shot misses. Jazz trail by 12. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. you got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. Another miss by MP. 
Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that hard silver platter, just served him up. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. Yeah. So it's Milwaukee going into the break with a 10-point lead. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they... And the three, again, for the screen. Ladies and gentlemen, your box you dancing. Ladies and gentlemen, your box you We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. And here's Don. He'll bring it up for Utah. It's a 10-point game. The four and five. Giannis and Portis. Holiday out there with MP. And it's Middleton in at the three. The small forward. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. I love seeing Dunn use his creative side to get these calls. And he is simply amazing at putting defenders in a tough spot. Six attempts for him at the line. He's made four. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as he'd like. Onto Takumbo. Passes to Middleton. The Nakumbo against Olenek. Giannis dishes to MP. It's tipped. Parking in with it. Now guarded by Middleton. Clarkson outside. Good on the triple. Clarkson's got 14 points for the game. They've given up a lot of three pointers here today. The wing MP tries from 10 and a great assist by Anakumbo as that one goes in. Got a talk on defense that left him all alone. Jazz trail by eight. Don looking over the floor. Covered by MP. And again it's Utah. And Dunn is fantastic at moving the ball around, finding teammates with ease. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. There is no let up in this man. He is doing everything in his power to keep this game close. Another miss by MP. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Clarkson. And marketing can give you, Greg, a solid defensive effort at both the three and the four. And Kevin, many thought marketing was a defensive liability. But given credit, we're trying to prove he wasn't. And while not a superb defender, he has become a plus defender for this team. Parking in against Middleton. Parking in passes to Olenek. We on the clock. Here's Dunn. Holiday with the block. Now get that out of there. That's all timing right there. Drew Holiday continuing hustle play. Shots good by Middleton. I love the unselfishness. And you know coaches do as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. Utah calls timeout. And something you have to remember about Drew Holiday, he, he was a key player in helping the Bucs win their historic title in 2021. Uh, he is unbelievable in that entire postseason. Started every game. Average 17 points. Was going to take on the, the toughest guard opposing player and uh, accept that challenge for every series. And took them to the title. Yeah, 80%. Is that a good number from the field? I, I think so. Four or five here shooting. Terrific start. Here's Portis. And Portis throws it down. Yeah, and Portis needs to be pushed away from the rim. That's too easy. Down outside. Over Holiday. No good off the back of the rim. Good job by him on the glass. 
here tonight. Plus eight in that department. And he gets it to go. And now a 10-point Bucks lead. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Middleton against Markinen. Back to Dunn. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. No foul. I don't know if you push the panic button now, but that's the fourth personal. And he needs to stay aggressive out there. So it's going to be interesting to see how he plays moving forward. Rudy Gaze checked in for the Jazz. And a wide open look for MP. It's hauled in by Dunn. Dunn's got five rebounds tonight. Right side, Markinen. Pass to Clarkson. The 10 foot And the shot is long. Milwaukee leading by 10. MP outside. The pass to Giannis. Good in the assist goes to MP. Giannis has got six. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Clarkson outside. Trains it from beyond the arc. Clarkson. Clarkson's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Jams. Bucks have gone 6 of 10 from the field in the third quarter. Giannis kicks to MP. Puts it up. Here's onto to Kumbo. And out of the Kumbo with the jam. I like to use Giannis in the pick-and-roll situations. He's getting better and better at understanding how to set the screens. For the rolling target, boy, he's a good one. Passes it to Markinen. Back to Clarkson. Over MP. And the shot is good. The Bucks lead has been cut down now to just nine on the basket from Clarkson. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Pass to MP for three. Buries the long-range jumper. MP's got a pair of threes now here in the third for Milwaukee. And here's Dunn. He'll bring it up for the chance. Clarkson outside. Back to Dunn. Pass to Olenek. Here's Clarkson. And the rejection by Adekumbo. When you get down on the block, Giannis is going to use that length defensively and get his hands all over any shot attempt. MP against Clarkson. Poked away. Middleton dishes to MP. Offensive rebound. Sinks that one from the post. Ante de Kumbo's got the lead up to 14 now for Milwaukee. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. On the game. The rebound by the Bucks. Pass Middleton at the elbow. It's Antetokounmpo back to MP. That one misses. Jazz trail by 14. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And it's done penetrating. Can't hit that one. Great D that time from Portis. Milwaukee's gone into the three point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Here's MP. Out of the Kumbo trying to break loose. Giannis on the phone. And the Bucks lead by 16. And he was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. And stolen by MP. Middleton inside the three-point line. He goes up again. And out of the Kumbo lays it up and in. Giannis has got 10 points here in the second half. And you love it when your star player gets down there and gets dirty. And that time, a Tetakubo in there. Here's the pass to Markinen. The Jazz working the ball around now. Count that bucket. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. Screen, shed the defense, quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. Here's MP. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. 
Clarkson outside and stolen by MP. Driving in, Middleton. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Milwaukee. I like their defense today, and we don't talk about that side of the ball enough. You can really change a game when you get a bunch of steals and get out in transition. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. And Gay is just so crafty inside, forcing the defense to hit him in the paint. A different look for Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Bobby Portis. And Grayson Allen subbed in for True Holiday. Allen right side. He feeds it to Giannis. Well, there's so much dominance in Giannis's game and what he can do, especially inside the three-point arc. It's the free throw line that he's still working to perfect. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. At the line for two. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Well, Kelly Olenek has made quite the career for himself as a stretch big. Yeah, he's been an important piece for multiple playoff teams, and that ability to space the floor, uses that up fake and get to his left hand and make good decisions. And there's a role for a guy like Kelly Olenek on any team that's looking for quality bigs. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing when to rise up and swat that one away. And the free throw, no good. But they'll get the ball back here. And he's checked in for the Jazz. Chris Dunn comes in for Jordan Clarkson. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. And so in the game for the Jazz. Olenek is out there with Lowry Markinen. Then there's Dunn. And it's Horton Tucker in at the two spot. Plays it up off the glass. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. Holiday, the pass to MP. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Outside Holiday. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. Utah shooting in this fourth quarter pretty dire at 27%. Dunn passes to Markinen. Olinick inside, covered by Giannis. Markinen can't get it to go. Bucks leading by 22. Here's MP. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. It's on Lowry Markinen. Yeah, the defender all over. Last season, of course, Marcus Smart on the defensive player of the year. You know, Greg, it, it's rare to see a guard win it. Should perimeter players get more consideration from this point on? Uh, it's tough, Kev. I, I do think they should. And I think the, the numbers, though, tend to favor the rim protectors. But it's only right to recognize great defense at every position, especially in an age of positionless basketball. MP, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Second personal. And the first one drops. 13 five. He hits both from the strike. And here's Don. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jams. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Passes it to Olenek. Marking it in the corner. Shot clock at six. No good on the shot. Great D that time from Portis. Whistle blows. Basket is good. Substitution on the court. And the Bucks with possession here. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. MP passes to Portis. And it's blocked. Offside marking it. And the rejection by Andekumbo. 
And it's out of bounds to the Jazz as Utah retains possession. Done with it. Clarkson outside. The Jazz again can't hit it. He's not the guy that you want to give a wide open look from three point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. Very Basket good. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Clarkson outside. Hands it from downtown. Clarkson. Clarkson's got 18 points now here in the second half. He has a lot of points from long range this half. He's taken advantage of a really tired defense. And Kelly Olenek is going to pick up the foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Fifteen foul. MP against Clarkson. And the foul called on MP. That's his first foul. And way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. And it's Utah's ball. They're on a 13-5 run. Pass to Olenek. The dish to Clarkson. From 13 feet, it goes down. Clarkson's got five points now this quarter. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. MP finds out to Kumbo. Good, and the assist goes to MP. MP's got five assists in the game. Jazz trail by 16. Larson outside, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by MP. A split second late, but almost came up with a steal there. Real close, and I'm sure next time you might time that a little bit better and get a hand on it. Dunn passes to Clarkson. Fires it up. Rebound, Milwaukee. Portis has got 11 rebounds in the game. MP against the winner. MP passes to Portis. And Portis screws it down. We're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're up by 15. A minute 50 left here in the fourth quarter. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. And guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. The lift he got from this home crowd has been obvious. There's nothing fans love more than getting a big game out of someone other than one of their stars. Tetsukubo going to work now. These types of shots are, are pretty much in his range. And another great look at the 2K drop. And it's plays like that, Kevin, that show you why they are so far ahead. Didn't settle for anything outside and went right to the rim. 141 left in the fourth quarter. Clarkson outside. Launches a three. Milwaukee with the rebound. MP's got his sixth rebound on the night. To the paint. Portis kicks to MP. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second personal It's on Lowry Markkinen. And in this era of player movement, Greg, we're seeing guys often pick teams on fit or style of play. When they look at that, what are they looking into? You want to have fun coming to work every day, Kevin. I mean, the money they're making, most guys are going to be set for life. But I think they recognize it's about the journey and who you have the opportunity to take that journey with. Bucks leading by 19 points. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Bucks. When you consider the difference in their field goal percentages, the other team has to be happy that 
this wasn't a bigger loss. This team was on fire. Yeah, Kevin, it, it, it's always frustrating when you can't throw a rock on the ground and the other guys just can't seem to miss. And so all the hard work here tonight converted into a tally in the win column. It'll be number 26 on the year. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And as usual, some excellent work tonight in what was a quality big impact game for MP. It felt like there was more than one of him out there tonight. He was involved on every possession, and he made his presence felt in so many ways. Here's MP. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on, and that can always help. That that home advantage of home fans getting you going, fully on display here. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see them get up like that. Well, this one is winding down now. Milwaukee can watch the clock run out. MP, that's for two. Hands the shot with nobody near him. MP's got 37. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game. But once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Mark Twain! 